Okay, so first I'm gonna start off by priming my face with this Dr. Brand Illuminizing Primer, which is kind of like a pore filling one as well. And then I'm going into the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette, which I'm currently loving, and I'm going in with the shade Eden for my transition shade. Next, I'll be going into the shade Blazing and placing that a little bit lower on the crease, and this will help to deepen up that transition. Now using this color saffron, which is like a really beautiful burnt red shade, I'm going to be placing this further down in my crease and then I'm also going to be placing this on the outer and inner um, corners of my lids, creating that halo effect. <laughs> Now I'm going to be going in with the shade Amethyst and I'm going to use this purplish shade to marry all three of those colors together on the lid. And as you see, it just looks so nice when you combine all three shades. It just gives it a really beautiful color flow. Now for my favorite part, glitter. I'm going in with this beautiful glittery like burnt orange mixed with purple and I'm going on with a brush first and it doesn't lay down the glitter as well as I like so I went in with my trusty fingers and I think that this would apply so much better if I would have placed a glitter glue down but for not having anything down it laid down really nicely as you can see I was pretty impressed so I don't know what she included in her formulation but it's pretty damn good for being a straight glitter and you can see how Beautiful this looks on the lids. I loved it. It just really ups up the amp and it makes it glam AF. Like it just does really good things for me. I feel like this is my as per usual. I'm going in with my Lorac Frontline Pro liner and there's nothing better than a brand new fresh one especially when you're placing it over glitter and you can see why i love this because on top of glitter you can see how pigmented and black it is the only thing i wish it was was matte but i don't care the shininess will have to do now i'm going in with this tarte tardis mascara and coating my lashes insert false lashes here if you like them now you heard me talk about this foundation forever here on my channel. I got this in I believe February or March and ever since it's been my jam. I love this. This is the Dior Forever Foundation. I am in the color Ochre and I just love this foundation because it gives you great coverage and without being cakey and it just looks like skin so I just feel like it just adds to your skin. It gives you that really healthy look to your skin. You got that JLo glow but without all the oiliness. I don't know this foundation just has like these really great superpowers built within it to make you look amazing and I just can count on this foundation for any event especially if I'm going to be taking pictures and I know I have to look on top of my game I can always depend on this because it just never lets me down and I was getting ready for a wedding in this video and I I was just super happy with my makeup and how the foundation laid down just look at the, my skin damn girl and of course I'm going in with my Tarte, um, what is this, Shape Tape Concealer. I'm in the color tan and I'm just placing this underneath my eyes. And I'm using this gigantic Real Techniques sponge. This is for the face and body, but I love it for the face. It is amazing and I cannot wait to get my hands on some more because I thought that it being so large it wasn't going to work well for me but it's awesome for foundation. It just spreads out products so nicely and it's so large so you don't have to use your hands and things like that, so I love it.
So I am applying my Giorgio Armani Micro Fill Loose Powder underneath my eyes to set that area. And I swear I make the weirdest faces when setting my under eyes because I'm trying to not let that area crease and I'm trying to get that product on there very quickly and I feel like my faces in the mix just do strange things. Now I'm going in with this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm using um, the shade Incandescent Light I believe it is to set my face because it gives you a beautiful glow without being too much. It's very light but beautiful on the skin and I'm using the dim light underneath my eyes to kind of brush off some of that excess powder that I place and to add a little bit of brightness. I love the way it looks when I apply this underneath the eyes because it just lightens that area and it also brightens it and makes it look really glowy. And I'm also placing that same dim light on the high points of my face just to kind of add a little bit more dimension. To bronze the face, I'm going in with the color Macchiato and Nutmeg from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And this palette is the tits because it just has so many great shades in it, especially for those who are deeper in skin tone, and this is the medium one. So if you are deeper in complexion and you are on the struggle bus with bronzers, definitely check out her darker complexion contour kit. I think it's really great. I have it in my freelance kit and it's worked for so many different skin tones. I'm pretty impressed. So yeah, this is a really great formula and it looks beautiful on the skin and I just think she did such a good job with it. Now I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Highlighter in the Midnight Sun, which is just a very pale champagne gold shade. And I will be honest and say that I bought pretty much all of her highlights because I was so impressed with the Kathleen Lights one. But so far, I've only used them a couple times. I'm not as impressed as I am with the other ones. I don't know why. Like, maybe I just need to try them out. Maybe I'm not having good luck. But yeah, I went in with this highlight. It's not that beaming of a highlight, but it was fine because I do have glitter on the eyes. And though I want my face to be popping as well, I did want to keep it pretty natural, so to speak, because I was attending a wedding and I didn't want to be like out beaming the bride, of course. Now I'm going to be going in to my Tarte blush book and I'm going in the color Kind Red or something, Kindred. And I'm placing this on the cheeks and it is really pretty. And I love this blush book. If you can get your hands on it, definitely do it because it's so much fun and it's just such a great thing to have in your collection. And for my lower lids, I'm going in with the color Saffron and Amber mixed and I'm placing this on the lower lash line to make it very nice and smoky under there and to further smoke it out because it's not as deep as I would like. I'm going in with the color Oud or Ode, which is just a really deep brown and I am placing that a little bit tighter on the lash line. Now I'm going in with the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Liner and I just place that in my waterline. And I'm going in with the Benefit Cabral Dip Brow, basically the pomade that they have and I'm in the shade 4. And I'm just doing my eyebrows as I always do. And for my inner tear duct and brow bone highlight, I'm going in with the Makeup Geek um, highlight in the color Lit, and I'm placing this all over because I do love this shade. It's really good. And for lips, I'm going in with the color Anna from NARS. This is the NARS Audacious, Audacious? <laughs> lipstick and I'm placing this all over. And to get it to that perfect shade that I was looking for, I'm going to be mixing in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Dainty and I love the combination. And yeah, this will complete this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys soon. Bye guys. Oh, love, love that time. Oh, love.